Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, we will discuss the control panel within Windows. It should be noted that making changes to some of the items in the control panel can seriously alter your computer and how it functions. It may even cause your computer to no longer function properly. So do not make changes to any of the settings if you do not fully understand the implication of changing the settings. The control panel is used to change settings in the Windows operating system and the computer. In the control panel screen, you can change settings for the computer's audio, display colors and resolution, security settings, and many other aspects of your computer. To access the control panel in Windows 8, you can right-click into the blank area within the Start screen in order to display the All Apps button in the Options bar at the bottom of this window. Then click the All Apps button to display all of the apps in your computer. Under the Windows System category, you can then click the Control Panel icon to open the Control Panel within the Desktop application. Now to access the control panel in Windows 7 and Vista, you can click the Start button on the Windows taskbar and select the Control Panel command from the pop-up menu. Now when you first open the control panel, you will see some of the most commonly used control panel items organized by category. To show more information about an item within the control panel while in Category View, hold your mouse pointer over the icon or category name and then read the text that appears. To open one of these items, click on its icon or category name. Now some of these items will open a list of tasks that you can perform, as well as a selection of individual control panel items. So for example, if you click the Appearance and Personalization category within the control panel, you will see a list of related tasks such as Personalization, along with other related control panel items. Now if you open the control panel in Windows Vista and you do not see the control panel item that you want to access, you can click the classic view button that appears at the left side of the control panel window. Note that in Windows 8 and Windows 7 you can click the drop down that appears next to the words view by in the upper right corner of the initial control panel window and then select to see all of the control panel items displayed either as large icons or small icons by simply selecting your desired choice from the drop-down menu that appears. At this point in all versions of Windows, you can then see all of the individual control panel items that you can change. To open an item shown, simply click on its control panel icon. Now to find out more about an item within the control panel window while you are viewing all of the available icons, hold your mouse pointer over the icon and simply read the text that appears. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.